Hafede Guam. My name is Shana Marie Santos from Joint Region Marianas. Today we're in the beautiful village of Piti to meet Master Suruhana with Cefa Certeza. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So, Sefa, can you tell us what a Suruhana is and what she does? Mama, Hagu Suruhana and Toto is Lenguahano. The Afa Titomo na pa i tetu Guam. So, I have more like I have to the the grass. Medicine. Surahana is a traditional healer, and the role of a of a traditional healer here in Guam as a Surahana, and Mama is uh, actually awarded the Master Surahana because of the many years that she's treated children, young adults, to the elders for different types of illnesses. How did you feel when you earned the title of Master Surahana, Mama? Manayo no i Master Surahana no. Okay, office in the temple, thank you, Manayo. Magufong? Magufong, ma'am? Yeah, I'm happy. Because I get, I get like, like, my children, they get to help. So, we will like, give them that medicine. She feels good about that. What kind of tools do you use to become a Surahana? Mama, Afa no, Afa na klase no metayat non usapa. Grass, grass, and the smasha. The wood, I take the wood and smash the the leaf. In lomok, no? Yeah. She uses the lomok to mm -hmm. smash the to uh, grind and smash the leaves, the, the different types of leaves, the herbs. Actually, herbal leaves. What is a lomok? They call this lomok. It's uh, made Smash. out of cement, and the, we gather all the the uh, medicine, and then you just smash it, and then get a little rag, a little um, glass, and then uh, squeeze the the medicine out, the juice. I put in any like and in, in the cloth and squeeze it in the mouth. Well done. The baby get well in the morning. How long has she been a Suruhana? Mama's been a Suruhana since the late twenties. Actually, when she turned thirty. I I I start from my kids, right? Eh? Yeah, she started when she uh, with her youngest son who was sick. So she uh, actually put it upon herself to learn it, the gift in her heart to, to reach out and, and learn it so that she could treat her children, the sick boy. Is it something that's usually passed down for families? Yes, traditionally if you are a, a Suruhana, uh, it cannot go out of the family. So, wh whoever, like for example, like in my, in our, our family, my mom is the Suruhana. She's the one who uh, started this. So, uh, it was only about 12 years ago when she was living with me. She decided to give me because she said that, you know, she's not uh, she she forgets. So she decided to give it to me. And how she gave it to me is she asked me she needs to sleep with me and whisper all the the secrets yeah, she has to sleep with me uh, maybe 12 o'clock and midnight and then she whisper all the the secrets of how to uh, mix the medicine what kind of medicine to use and also to how to massage I understand you guys have a like a garden back here where you where you grow some of the herbs. Well, actually, we started it because it's the the uh, medicine that we use that I use is very rare. 
you can't find it. Uh, it's, you have to go to the jungle to find the medicine. So what, uh, what I normally do is you know, go around the island and pick it or ask families who, who grows it, but they live in a, in a jungle area. How do you feel when you help people, when you're healing people? You know, I'm Tifa Magoan, and it's out Mali Kurosono. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel good. And I know that they're, they're okay. Okay. Which is good, which is right. She feels great when she is able to help others. Especially when I'm a shouting in there, and I'm a shouting in there, they're helping a lot, you know.